Here we have a rectangle with an area of 20 square centimeters and having dimension for the length x plus 4 and the width x. In this part, question A, we got uh, two questions really. The first part is to write an equation for the width x. And then secondly, to show that it simplifies to this equation. So let's begin with the first one, to write down an equation for the width x. Now we know the area of a rectangle can be really calculated as the length times the width. Now we know the area to be 20 centimeters squared and the length is x plus 4. I'd like to put that in bracket, then multiply by the width. Now the width here is x. Now so this really gives us the equation for the width x. Now the second part of question A says show that it simplifies to this equation here. So like going to proceed to continue. And uh, I'm going to expand the uh, bracket here on the right. So this is definitely going to give me a squared and x times 4 have 4x. Four definitely that's going to be equal to 20 here on the left. Now we can rearrange this to give you a more better equation by bringing 20 to the right and everything here turns to 0 and that becomes a squared add 4x subtract 20 and that's equal to 0. Now if we look at this with this one equation here you see that the same. So we have just shown that it simplifies to this equation x squared plus 4x minus 20. So the first part has really been solved. So now we go to the second part. Now I would like to draw a straight line here to really help us to I mean to help us know which one we're really solving. For question B here, we are asked to use this quadratic formula to determine the width of the rectangle as x. And I know the quadratic formula has an equation something like this: x is equals to um, minus b plus or minus um, b square minus 4ac with this put in a square sign and you divide everything uh, here um, yep by 2a yeah so I think that's what it really simplifies so and uh, we need to know what's a b and c here our uh, a can we from this quadratic equation a here is actually one that's one here and b is positive four and c here is negative 20. it's important that you write down this but this helps you to work this out very easily all right, so we're going to substitute the values for a, b, c into this quadratic formula. So uh, to simplify x, it will be equals to minus b, and then we know b to be 4. So this is going to give us minus 4 plus or minus, then the b squared, b is 4, so it becomes 4 squared minus. 4 times a and a is 1 times c and we know c to be minus 20 and don't forget to put your square root sign over all of them and of course you put your device sign here okay divided by 2a and that's 2 times 1 a is 1, so 2 times 1. So we're going to use a calculator to really solve this. Alright, let's solve everything within the square root sign here. Now this is called the discriminant, and we really need, need to really work that out. Let's add a little discriminant first. So it's going to be 4 squared. Um, 4 squared. Um, minus 4 
times 1 times, I have minus 20 there. And if you hit that, that will give you 96. So definitely that will give you uh, 96. But first, let's write out what we have here first as minus 4 plus or minus square root of 96. Of course, and then we're going to divide this by 2 times 1, and that will give me 2. Now you can see here we have plus and minus. That means I'm going to have the ability to, to split into 2 because definitely going to have 2 answers. Okay, so I'm going to split this up. Um, this is going to be um, minus 4 plus square root of 96 divided by 2 or the other value minus 4 this time instead of using the positive I'm going to use negative here minus square root of 96 divided by 2 so we need to solve this using the calculator one more time again so I'm going to do this first one out and to see what, what that's going to give me remember to two decimal places so I'm going to start off with the first one to go to minus 4 plus um, square root of 96 um, divided by 2. Now if I try to bring this to decimal, this is going to give me 2.898. But we need to write these to two decimal places and to two decimal places definitely this is going to give me 3.0. So S is going to be 3.00, of course going to be centimeters. And let's try to work out the other value for X with this. Uh, we have um, minus 4 minus um, square root of 96, square root of 96, and then divide that with 2 of that by 2. Well, you can see um, we got a negative value there, minus 6.898, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's unlikely that you can have a negative value here because you, don't, you can't have a side of a rectangle as negative 4, or negative 6, or negative 7. All right, so we just can't write any value for this. So I would say, well, there's no value here. Uh, there's no, there's a value really, but not a pos not a very possible one. That's not possible. But this other one here, not possible. You can have a negative value. So that means our re-answer becomes three centimeters.